my statements about my mom and that we're all wearing the lays in honor of her and the Aloha shirts. And it is a tragedy. <laughs> and it's still unbelievable. It's still just horrendous and unbelievable. It's sad on all in all aspects with Cody. It's sad, sad, sad for our family. It's I don't know what to say. Yesterday was eye-opening to me. I took my head out of the sand and after two years, I really got to see things in a different way. And it was just surprising and shocking. So, I mean, to learn the facts, um, to learn that he had lied to me, that he was actually on the bus when um, he called me. He called me the night before I came down and he didn't say, like, I'm coming down. It's like, I'm going to be, I want to come down someday and repay you in person. In person. Someday, I want to come down and repay you in person. It just, I found out he was already on the bus. How did that make you feel? Uh, I don't know, a little bitter, a little uh, surprised and gullible. Well, after yesterday, I knew that the prosecution spelled it out well enough that it was premeditated. Before that, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think that it was. But after yesterday's closing arguments, it was clear, which is very sad. I had faith in my cousin and, you know, I mean, he was, he was a loving family member. So it's just, it's still unbelievable.